Good evening. It has been a couple of very interesting days, the last uh, days here. Um, first of all, you saw or probably saw the video where I was woken up by the police. They were friendly and all. You saw that, my previous video. Um, Tuesday evening, when I came back to the nest at uh, Winter Home Base, I wanted to put the propane heater and um, I put the gas, put the propane and I used the thing you uh, make a spark with and I used it a lot of times and uh, it didn't spark, it didn't light up. So I turned off the gas again and lift off the cover to check what was wrong. I found out that there was a wire that came loose. So I put the wire, I squeezed it a little bit and put it back on so it was sitting good and firm. And uh, then I put the gas again and sparked one time and the whole thing exploded. Well, I was okay, the oven, the heater is okay, the, the, the nest is okay, but there was an explosion inside the propane heater. The thing is, my heater is with the chimney. So the explosion went out through the chimney and blew the top off. I went outside because the, the sound, the explosion was so loud that I got scared. So I turned off everything and went outside just to kind of calm down. And I brought my torch. So I put the torch, the light on the top of the chimney and the top had blown off. I walked around a little while looking for pieces and I found small pieces of broken plastic all over the place. It had blown clean off and was shattered. Well, I went back inside and checked the oven, checked the heater, and it was okay. There was no, no leak or anything. It was fine. Um, the whole explosion had gone out through the, the chimney. Apparently, there was too much propane inside it and when I made the spark work it just lighted up uh, like an explosion. Nothing happened, nothing serious. I fixed the, the chimney already, made a new top for it. I couldn't buy one because it's too old so I made one and it's working and it's fine and it's no problem. Uh, the, the heater still work so uh, no problem and I have my gas alarm on so it's will detect if there's any problem. So, exciting. Um, next morning, when I woke up, an SMS ticked in on my phone. A message came on my phone. And it was from the guy who owned the gravel pit where my winter home base was. And I said, was. Because one of the neighbors had complained about the trailer st standing parked there. That there was a trailer, a travel trailer parked and she could see someone living in it. And she complained to the local government. They contacted Ole, his name, the, the owner of the gravel pit. And told him that if someone stayed in the gravel pit. He would have to pay tax from the money that that person paid to stay there. And he tell them, but he is not paying anything, he stay there for free. Then they say, okay, then we evaluate how much it's worth and then you have to pay tax from that amount. <laughs> I told you before, Denmark is, Denmark is all about tax. If the local government, if the tax department can see money, any chance they get, they grab it. So, Ole had to ask me to leave. So, yesterday morning, I left the, the winter home base. So now, I'm on the road again. I don't have a winter home base. I'm boondogging and crossing my fingers that there's going to be no snow. If, if we have snow, a lot of the places where I used to uh, boondock when it was summer and fall, 
a lot of those places I cannot go. So the number of places I can boondog is shrinking. So this is going to be exciting. I uh, did not expect this to happen, but well, an angry neighbor, that's all it takes. And the worst part is, from where I was parked in the, in the gravel pit, she could not see the trailer from her home. When she was in her house or her garden, she had no possible chance of seeing the, the, the nest. But she noticed when she drove by, and that's all it takes. And then she complained. So, winter home base gone, back on the road, the nomadic life all winter. This is going to be exciting. This is going, well, exciting, yeah, interesting, well, probably too, but, well, let's see what happens. So, now for sure, I'm a nomad again. <laughs> this was, I just wanted to make this update, and, you know, I'm okay, I'm gonna be alright. I just have to, uh, well, take the challenges. I don't have, uh, I had, at home base, I had electric. Well, the solar cannot keep up. I can't keep running the car. It will wear out the engine and it will uh, give a lot of problems with the dirty engine. So um, now I bring my battery, the, the house battery. I bring it to work and charge it. My boss says, okay, never worry. So I charge my house battery every day at work. And it'll have to do. So, um, well, this is life. And you know what I say, life is good. And it still is. It's just different. So, uh, back on the road. Life is good. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.